Snipe are pretty shy birds and we probably won't see any here because of all the excavators. But these machines are an important part of this success story. The excavators you can see in the background uh, are effectively using the, the excavators to remove the degraded layer of peat at the top um, and then dig down into the better quality peat that's got more clay-like properties, bring that to the surface, pack it down and that will create the walls that we've got here before they then put the vegetation back on top to stop them drying out. These new walls or bunts are the secret to the reserve's snipe success. And this is what a bunt looks like when it all has a chance to get established. It's nice and soggy down there, which is just what you want. Now, I've got my binoculars with me and I'm keeping an ear open, but I don't think I'm gonna catch any sightings of snipe today. They're shy little things and quite hard to spot. And that's why the volunteers here are so important. There's a thousand hectares of the reserve, and it's only thanks to all these volunteers that we now know there's a breeding pair here, the first since 95. The return of snipe to this reserve not far from Wem in Shropshire is a good indicator that all this hard work is paying off. They're back here because they have the right conditions for them. They've got areas of uh, wet peat, they've got pools, they've got a variety of vegetation. It's not all dense vegetation, it's not all open and that's just what snipe will need in order for them to, to be able to breed and to, to rear their young. Longer term, improving this habitat will be good news for other species too. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today at the Fens, Wixall and Bettisfield Mosses.